of the things we're trying to do for you on Live at ERS is to pick up those subjects which are of real value to practitioners. And mild asthma and its treatment is certainly one of those. So I'm delighted to welcome Paul O'Byrne. Now you're leading a session or part of a session on the treatment of mild asthma. Tell me a bit about that session and why you think it might be of value to people. The, uh, the reason we think this is so important is firstly uh, the proportion of patients with asthma that are considered to have mild disease is the great majority. It's uh, probably 70 or 80 percent of patients and these are patients that are managed uh, almost entirely in primary care practice and family practice. We also know from many, many studies going way back, but even more recent studies, that in general, mild asthma patients do not have well-controlled disease and are also at some risk, some substantial risk, of having severe asthma exacerbations. And the main reason for that is that while we do have extremely effective therapies in inhaled steroids that are uh, very safe to use and uh, uh, and, and should be used in this patient population, adherence to regular maintenance therapy is appalling. The patients have intermittent symptoms, they don't have symptoms every day, and by and large, while they might use the steroids from time to time, they do not use them uh, in, in, in a regular way. And so we have this dilemma, and the dilemma is very good treatments, very safe treatments, but they're not used by the patients who will benefit. And for that reason, uh, a number of us about 10 years ago now actually had the idea that as a result of the lack of maintenance inhaled steroid use, what the patient defers to is to use their Saba reliever therapy whenever they have symptoms. And we had the thought that perhaps if that reliever therapy had an inhaled steroid in it, it may actually provide benefit because we are it's a stealth way, if you like, of getting the steroid into the patient when they are using a reliever medication. And there had been a bit of evidence to suggest that this was actually uh, a good thing to do. The evidence was mostly in patients with more moderate to severe disease uh, who were already using a combination inhaler with an, an inhaled steroid and a long-acting beta agonist, or a LABA, where the use of that approach, both as a maintenance as and a reliever therapy, had been shown to reduce risk of severe asthma exacerbations by about half. And so the idea came about that uh, perhaps using this approach instead of a short-acting beta agonist or a Saba uh, might provide benefit to patients with much milder disease. And is this what you're going to be covering in this session? Yes, that's correct. There were two large, randomized, placebo-controlled studies completed, uh, each with close to 4,000 mild asthmatic patients randomly allocated to uh, using this anti-inflammatory reliever approach. And in this, the study that I was mainly involved with, compared to a Saba, and then compared to maintenance inhaled steroid in a three-arm trial. And the study demonstrated that uh, there was this very good effect on exacerbation. And you'll be discussing that trial and several other aspects of the management of mild asthma in this particular That's session. Correct, yes. Well, if you want to see that session in full, and I think that many, many people would find it very useful indeed, you can find it on live at ERS+.